Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Virginia Woolf, Virginia Woolf. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? Oh, wasn't that funny? That was so funny. Yes, yes it was. Oh, I thought I'd bust a gut. I really did. I thought I'd bust a gut laughing. George didn't like it. George didn't think it was funny at all. Lord, Martha, do, do we do we have to go through this again? I'm trying to shame you into a sense of humor, Angel, that's all. Martha doesn't think I laughed loud enough. Martha thinks that unless, as she demurely puts it, that unless you bust a gut, you aren't having any fun. You know, unless you carry on like a hyena, you want to lose. Oh, well, I certainly had fun. It was a wonderful party. <laughs> yes, it certainly was. And your father, oh, he is so marvelous. Yes, yes, oh, he is. I hmm. tell you. He's quite a guy, isn't he? Quite a guy. And you'd better... Believe it. So what'll it be? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'll stick to bourbon, I guess. Oh, that what you were drinking over at Parnassus. Over at... Parnassus. I don't understand. Skip. One bourbon. Thanks. It's just a private joke between little old Martha and me. <laughs> Uh, so, you work in the uh, uh, math department, eh? No. Uh, no. Oh, Martha said you did. Well, I think, I think that's what she said. What made you decide to be a teacher? Oh, well, the same things that motivated you, I imagine. <laughs> what were they? Pardon? I said, what were they? What were the things that, that motivated me? Well, I'm sure I don't know. <laughs> well, you just finished saying that the things that motivated you were the same things that motivated me. I said I imagined they were. Oh, oh, did you? Well. <gasps> oh, how lovely! Flores! Flores <laughs> para los muertos! Flores! <laughs> Sunny boy, you come home for your birthday at last! Stay away from me. <laughs> That's the house! Boy, for God's sake. Really? That is her own little sunny boy, Jim. Our own little all-American something or other? Oh, I certainly hope not. He's been acting awfully funny if he is. Oh, I'll bet. Chippy, 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 huh? I, I brung you these flowers, Marta, because I, well, because you, oh, hell, gee. Oh, pansies, <laughs> rosemary, violence. My wedding bouquet. Well, if you two kids don't mind. Ah, uh, 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 you stay right where you are. You make my hubby a drink. I don't think I will. No, no, that would be too much, baby. He's your houseboy, baby, not mine. I'm nobody's houseboy. No! no. I'm, I'm nobody's, nobody's houseboy house now. now. Vicious. Children? Huh? Is that right? Vicious children with their oh-so-sad games, hopscotching their way through life, etc., etc. Is that right? I mean, hell, you can take over the history department just as easy from there as from anywhere else. Lord knows somebody's going to take over the history department someday, and it ain't gonna be Georgie boy, that's for sure. Are you swampy? Are you, huh? In my mind, Martha, you are buried in cement, right up to your neck. <laughs> no, your nose, that's much quieter. Georgie boy says you're terrifying. Why are you terrifying? I didn't know I was. Well, it's because of your chromosomes, dear. Oh, the chromosomes. What is all this about chromosomes? Well, chromosomes. Oh, I know oh. what chromosomes are, sweetie. I love them. Oh, well then. Martha eats them for breakfast. She sprinkles them on her cereal. <laughs> it's really very simple, Martha. This young man is working on a system whereby chromosomes can be altered. Well, not all by himself. Uh, he probably has one or two co-conspirators. The genetic makeup of a sperm cell changed, reordered, to order, actually, for hair and eye color, stature, potency, I imagine, hairiness, features, health, and mind. 